Yeah, I'm making this video for my Speed Queen washing machine that we got a while ago. It's still a current model and still sold by Speed Queen. $1,399 washing machine that doesn't get clothes clean at all. No matter what you do, unless you're what they say, an office executive who doesn't really get their clothes clean. That's what this machine is. Who doesn't, I'm sorry, doesn't get their clothes dirty. That's who this machine is really designed for. It's not designed for people that have a family that with kids that get dirty. Or if you're in construction, well, yeah, I live on a farm. I get dirty. My whites have never been clean since the day I bought this machine. See the agitator here? That's fake. That whole thing, the agitator, doesn't move. It doesn't agitate. It's fake. It's put in there to separate you from your money. The tub turns and your clothes kind of go, hey, isn't this fun? This doesn't go ch -ch 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 -ch, like all agitators are supposed to. It sits there the entire time. Here's my model number. There's my serial number. This is my machine. I'm not in some stupid store or something making stuff up. I bought this thing. Here's, here's the stuff for the washer and the dryer. Matching right next to it. Dryer seems fine. I have no complaints with that. But this washing machine is a $1,300 pile of crap that they won't take back. Speed Queen denies there's a problem, although there's thousands and thousands of people online that say this thing doesn't clean clothes. When it starts going, the lid locks too. See this lid lock there? It's a little hook. So you have to pause it and stop it, and then you have to wait, and then it goes click, and then you can open it up to add clothes or to or to get it to start functioning again. You won't fill, everything stops if the lid's open. Stupidest thing you've ever seen on a washing machine. Right there. It's so new, energy guide, I haven't even taken it off yet. But, no matter what cycles you use, even the guy who installed it said, see this Eco Clean right here? Don't use that, that doesn't really clean anything. It's always cold. No matter where you have the temperature settings, it's always cold and it really doesn't get anything clean. So use the heavy duty cycle or go through the special cycles and find something. So basically the first time I ever wash my white clothes and I always wash in hot water with bleach. The second I took them out of there to put them in the dryer, I went, huh. They don't look clean anymore. And they weren't. And they never have been since. This machine doesn't clean clothes. It's for professionals that work in an office that use only the gentlest cycle on their shirts or blouses or, you know, skirts or whatever your, your favorite uh, Frederick's underwear. But if you have kids that actually go outside, which you may not these days, um, few kids do, or if you happen to have a husband who works in blue collar, or if you work in blue collar, basically if you get any stain on your clothes, you're going to have to try to get the stain out before you wash it, because this machine won't wash your clothes. Speed Queen, you used to be great, but you suck now. This is their most expensive model washer they make. It's still a current model. $2,500 worth of stuff sitting right here, and I have a washing machine that won't get clothes clean. Can't get clothes clean because they just sit there. The drum goes around a little bit. This is what the drum does. Whee! Agitator goes with it, but the agitator isn't separate. It just goes around. No agitation going on here. Your clothes just float around having fun. I don't want anybody else to make the mistake that I did. And uh, 
you know, in the comments on YouTube, I will post the letter I got from them. Basically saying, if you get your clothes dirty, this isn't the washer for you. This is just for people that don't really get dirty. Almost a quote. So, don't make the mistake of buying a speed queen. Like me. You'll be out money. The place I bought it from told me to pound sand. I went back to Speed Queen, spent three days going back and forth with them. They told me to pound sand. The lady there wouldn't let me talk to any person other than the person that answers the phone there. You can't talk to customer service. You can't talk to anybody anywhere at any place other than the person that answers the phone at Speed Queen because they're denying they even have a problem. That's how bad this company is. You can't even complain. There's nobody to complain to. They're a complete and utter lie. $1,500 lie with tax and delivery. There it is. And all its garbage glory. All right. Sorry for the rant, but I didn't want anybody else to buy a Speed Queen and get screwed like I did. Unless you're a frilly, nice worker in a high tower and you've never been dirty before then this is your washer you need the best there you go if you actually happen to wash your clothes because they're dirty stay away from this mother thanks bye